Hi, thank you so much for using our service. Know Thy Future brings you another video. So this is a client reading. It will not be shared on any social media platform on YouTube or anywhere else. It will only remain with the client. If he or she wishes to share it anywhere, that's their choice. Also, I would like to thank you for using our service again and that I have 10 plus years experience. So 90% of what I predict comes true. But you always have to leave like 10% leeway for these things. Alright, so one more thing before we start. I would like to say that if you like or even if you dislike the reading, please leave an honest review after you go through it on Fiverr. You just have to go there, mark your order as complete and then they will give you a chance to rate and review. So please take your time with that and give an honest answer. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so first thing I noticed that your hand shape and your fingers, they are quite different. Okay, what happens is that nowadays, like first, like and in long, long ago, long, long ago, there used to be fixed types for everything. But now because the world is diversifying, women have more rights and because there are more fields, like first there wasn't computer science, but now there's computer science, there's I think data security. There are a lot of different things. So here we see that even in your poem, it's very different, like it's very diversified in the way that the handshape is not squarish. It's opposite of squarish. And that, that coupled with these which are like, they're not full, usually they're pointed uh, fingertips, but here they're going conical like cone shape plus a bit squared, which shows practicality and artistry. So, but this, the shape of your overall bone shows artistry. This thumb is quite important. The first thing is it's good length. It's not short. So whenever you see in Eastern countries, women will have short thumbs. Why? Because they depend on their husband for the day to day and things. But with Western women, you usually have uh, what you say, thumbs which are long, which also means that you are uh, very good at like uh, being independent. So that's a very good sign. In Indian palmistry, it's best that the thumb be long and that's a sign of success in itself. All right. So uh, we also see that the shape is of a refined taste, a perfectionist, a person who is very high standards when it comes to things they like. Like you might also be a good critic like this. You might like a movie and you might criticize, like people might like a movie, people might like a piece of art and you will criticize it a lot because your nature is critical, but people will agree with your criticism. The only problem with this thumb is the space. Like even the space between the fingers, they're a bit closed up or maybe it could be positioned in that way. But when there's not too much space, it means that a person is very closed up. You don't open that easy to people. But I see that because of this heart line going upwards, that might be like changing because you, as you grow up, uh, things change. So that's something which is changing, that you're opening up more. You're becoming more, a bit more extrovert, but inside you're very extro, uh, introvert. All right. So we see the fingers. Okay. Now you, uh, very unusually, you will see that the fingers are arranged in a straight arc. But yours, usually, this is the usual thing, are arranged with two fingers low set. Okay, so the Jupiter finger isn't too low set. It's uh, because uh, you don't have that much Jupiterian qualities. Uh, and Apollo is very strong on your bone. So you see, Apollo is naturally longer, which gives you uh, wrist uh, taking abilities, which gives you a love of art, uh, making of art, love of music, and a love of beauty. And with that, you also see that the finger, uh, this finger is quite close at and it's not reaching here. It should reach here to be considered normal, but it's low set and it's short. So what happens is a person has a bit of self-esteem issues in early life. Maybe they couldn't live to someone's expectations or what they thought were unfair expectations of them. As, uh, and there's also sh a lot of shyness in the early age. But if you see the saving grace of this, this phalange is very developed, which gives you like good communication abilities as you grow older. So w what happens is people like, you know, politicians or like any, yeah, 
politician speakers you will expect them to have a long mercury finger but most of them also have a similar mercury finger like yours but their this phalange will be long this is because they want to they always try to improve themselves they are not natural at speaking but they become natural so uh, that's uh, their ability and that's how they uh, move through life all right now that the fingers hand shape is done let's go where the other things okay so i mentioned that your squarish and cone that means that there is practicality but a practicality after much hard work so basically you're more uh, make a conic shape than mixed shape what is conic shape conic shape is people who are very artistically inclined but a bit lazy so uh, that's why your uh, fingers are square, a bit squarish and the best thing is that look at the straightforwardness of them no finger is bent which again is a sign of success many rich people many influential people many successful people have straight fingers because they have a straight forward personality like you came to me you wanted a palm reading you didn't like beat around the bush you were like uh, i just need this palm reading so please help me out and i gave you my price you didn't uh, like ask for a discount or anything you just said oh Uh, that's good i like your uh, work i saw your reviews so you're very straightforward and you don't like people who aren't straightforward so that's also very good because sometimes artistic people they are straightforward they're confused but uh, for you there might be confusion in life there will be maybe there is now but the thing is that your path is uh, uh, going clearer as you grow up all right so let's see the interesting mounts okay so what are interesting about mounts mounts are the areas seven designated areas on your palm mounts don't change in shape and size the lines and signs on them change uh, the sign, lines and signs on your palm change every year but mounts the size remains same that's why some palmists and even me we emphasize on the mounts than the lines that the mounts are more important even though this is a bit low side jupiter jupiter has a good spacing which shows a person receives good uh, quality education and that the person receives like uh, when a person gets a job like suppose some uh, you your friend gets a job and it's in a position they're not earning that much money but the position is good so similar like you you won't be earning so much money at the start but your position will be good like you will always work in top class companies or businesses and then eventually as the fate line gets stronger you will earn more money but that's good and you should always try to work in a good company if they're well reputed go for it All right. So for, we see that there is a square sign here. Okay. So what's a square sign on Jupiter mean? Okay. Whenever there is a square sign, it means protection. But protection after bad luck. So the bad luck will be there. Bad luck can be on Jupiter in the form of hindrances or delays in success. This could be delay in educational success. You get your degree late. This could be a delay in getting uh, the job that you desire from your heart. so that it just means delay it doesn't mean that you won't get it because i've seen similar signs of life they always have delay in life like even though some were middle age they said yes in 20s i faced delay so there might be uh, like delay of you could say a relationship that you really want a delay of marriage it could be any delay but there will be a delay but uh, suppose the square wasn't there then there won't be like without the square it would be a problem but with the square it gives protection all right so very interesting you have a square from here as well I actually noticed this right now. Saturn means financial stability. So your uh, and, and actually the uh, good thing is that your Apollo is most well up on your bond and your Saturn is low. That means that you are very jolly, very optimistic in life. But the thing is that when the Saturn is like this, it means that the person is very uh, what do you say? Not materialistic, a bit rebellious, and that. Uh, unselfish so people with saturn which is developed which is opposite of your case they will be very like good at saving money and they will be very money oriented but in your case your saturn is undeveloped so uh, it means that you don't get depressed easily but you also aren't very practical in life that's why maybe the conic shape is so strong lack of practicality and sometimes you just like you know there's hard work but you like don't finish you start many projects you don't finish so that's a problem that's a problem but with the square on saturn that means that if you ever find yourself in a major bad financial situation sometimes you can then there will always be some luck which will save you like suddenly you will find yourself uh, lucky like oh 
damn uh, i just got saved here so this is always good that there is a square on saturn that also means it gives you some saturn influences like suppose uh, you have uh, like uh, saturn gives you financial stability but your saturn is low saturn. Uh, sorry your saturn is not that developed square gives you opposite it gives you saturn powers later on so that's good also very good is that i will tell you that you have a one line which is making two lines later on but that's not that strong this one line is very strong okay so if you re read here so this is 53 plus the age so at your 53 plus some people have many scattered lines some have crisscross some have no lines but the best thing is to have one line because it is a sign of luck if uh, there's a, a very old book palmistry for professional services they say if there's a single line here that means the person will have exceptional luck financial luck in life and if he doesn't he or she doesn't have exceptional luck throughout life they will definitely have 53 plus luck so that means like Clint Eastwood and other actors who are like working till they'll be 100 you'll also be working till your very old age so that's very good because people get depressed when they retire so this is a very 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 good sign could be said this is the best side on your palm all right so apollo and mercury apollo okay so apollo is the most developed not surprised there as maybe you're working in arts or aspiring to be an artist and there's a single line again single line is best person is focused person will get name and fame in life if there are many lines there are confusion like if you suppose there are many lines there is less success and there is confusion because your talents are scattered everywhere but here there is uh, what you say focus and there will definitely be success and you also have a star like formation oh my god i actually haven't seen this formation in a long time i saw this formation in like michael jackson has it but i saw this formation in a real life teacher i had back in school and uh, like she told me about it like uh, I have a star on my bomb and I read and uh, she actually had a star on her bomb so it actually meant that uh, there there was like success in her life she was very she went she became the head of the economics department but her problem was her personal life was very bad her husband left her and she had, uh, had to raise a single uh, kid as a single mom but the thing is let me tell you if you have this star formation then you uh, you will get name and fame exceptional name and fame you will get uh, international following like you will be known in all the states of america but your personal life will not be as good as your public life because what happens is this star gives name and fame but just like michael jackson's personal life was a bit controversial but his public life was quite great so similar to him your personal life the relationships you form will always be controversial or won't live up to expectations or you might not get good partners due to some bad luck but your public life will be good so i'm saying this is a very bittersweet sign this is a double edged sword so but it's a good sign i actually haven't seen it in a long while okay so apollo also means that you might be naturally good looking people might be attracted to you but you might be a bit changeable in personality like sometimes you want to do something else and uh, like uh, you start projects you don't finish what i was saying before but this is good uh, again apollo being well it means you might suffer eyesight problems as well so take care of your eyes okay mercury is uh, taking good space it's not too developed which is good i see mercury lines as well so mercury represents business how much we earn in life so there are two lines so you'll earn from two fields again mercury is uh, also do, uh, what do you say represents communication so your communication abilities will improve as much as you get older okay so before we go to the lines on this bomb i will tell you what so this is your dominant bomb you write with it all right so this is your non-dominant hand so many people ask what's the difference so the difference is that this is what you're born with non-dominant hand and the dominant hand is what you do to change what you're born with People who have a better dominant form had bad circumstances, unfavorable some circumstances in their life, in early life, but they changed it for the better. People with better non-dominant forms had more potential, but they didn't take 
use of the opportunities. If we notice that overall your dominant mom is better because here the lines are more islanded which gives stress and even the headline is not that good. It's a bit wavy uh, and over there in the head. lifeline ends early though there is a Mars line but if I see this so this shows a person who is very nervous uh, naturally though the good thing is that the fake lines are very strong if you see this is one fake line and this is the other fake line and they are quite strong so we see some similarities with only the fake line but personality wise you have improved so definitely you are improving your life as much as you grow older ok along with this ok so your relationship lines are also very interesting I'll go to them I won't uh, look at uh, this form or ok maybe I'll see ok so left Okay, so you see that there are, like this is one line, this is a short line. Oh, sorry, sorry, I was actually confusing. So there are two lines basically, but this one is very long and this is short. So again, uh, there will be some separation. The first partner, you will love them very much, but there will be a separation. And then you will fall in love at 35 or 40, most probably 35, 36 is the best estimate. Okay, I'll, we'll see here as well. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. That there's a short line here but then a new line starts so that means that this relationship at 36 will be very long and it will be true love even though you like the person before but that relationship is very short like if you see there are short lines there I think it will be even more clearer if I show you at the right palm alright so what was I saying okay so I have seen this formation where there's one strong line here there's one line like this and there's one short line here so if you see that means that this between line which is starting above this means separation so if you can say that this is starting at like some like 25 and then this other one is starting at 33 uh, meaning the separation will happen at 32 33 and this one is starting at 36 to 40 these are the years when it will happen the important relationship so i can also say okay so this doesn't necessarily mean marriage because in like some people even priests uh, or monks they don't marry but they have a very strong attachment line because they're very strongly attached to god so uh, it could be that you have one marriage but that will be this one this one which starts late and the other one is a very strong relationship with the person but that person like betrays you and then leaves you so i'm sorry if i'm giving uh, like this kind of inspiration but i'm very truthful in my readings you can also like uh, like what do you say match them with your fate lines because fate lines also tell about relationships okay so if you see the first one this is like starting at 23 similar to hair which was like 23 25 but then this new one starts here so uh, so if you see but this could be like when this new one is starting this could mean that you're earning from two income sources. Yeah, that's 27 for sure. At 27, you're earning from two income sources, one from your original job and this other one maybe from your hobby. But if you see here, this line, oh, there's also this line. If you see, there's one rising line from the left line and it's being cut, which shows dip, separation. So if you see, this is at 32 or 33. So at 32 or 33, there is a separation which will be this one so that first one was here then second was here at 32 I can estimate and then you see that this line is exceptionally strong this one this line and whenever there is this line going through the headline it means 36 so this 36 relationship will be very beneficial to you if I am seeing it starting from kind of like here from the moon to moon so that means that the person you will meet during your travels but it will be a person you don't know that well maybe this person you know him or her very well but that person they won't they will be someone new to your life completely new so that's how I, all I can say for your relationships the both the relationships will be good but the first one will lead to separation okay so now we see that the headline and lifeline are joined at the start they are joined till 25 so at 25 you feel like you're you're becoming very financially independent from your guardians or people who take care of you uh, also it means you're cautious and reserved as the lines 
at the start are joined. We also see that the headline is quite good. It's a bit straight at the start, but then sloping. So this means a balance between practicality and creativity, but due to it going towards the mountain moon at the end, means that you're more creative than you're practical. And you always have ideas in your head. The lifeline is quite interesting. If we see the lifeline, it's uh, going with a branch outward. This is near 50, 50s. So in your 50s, you will settle somewhere outside of your hometown and you will settle there and live there permanently. And it's good because uh, whenever there's a branch extending from the lifeline, that means that life during or 50s, middle age, old age will be very good health wise. So see, I don't see any major health defects, maybe nervousness and eyesight problems, but no major health defects I can see on your palm. The sun line is very good. It is actually, if you see, your lines are quite good. If you see, this is the second fit line. And from the first fit line, from 23 onwards, I see a mercury line. And it's going all the way here. So this means that at 23, maybe you will also, uh, start a business, but at 23, as this triangle forms, you will earn a lot during this time. And this is like 23 to, if you estimate, 27. So this will be a very good time where you will work hard. You will make a lot of money during these years and they will be very uh, good. But the money won't be, see, you will make money, but maybe through freelancing and stuff. But as you enter your 36 age, that will be a permanent job and uh, you will work in that job maybe till the end of your life but it will be permanent and yeah uh, in end of your life meaning that you will earn a lot from it till end of life and if you see this straight line this is 53 plus so at you could even make so much money you would add at 53 plus uh, so yeah there's that but again you listen to your heart a lot because if you see the heart line is very uh, important in palmistry. Usually a person who doesn't listen to art, their headline ends under Saturn here. But yours is not only long, but it is going towards Jupiter. So here, what happens is that the person uh, loves to be in love. Like they always want to be in a relationship and they will sacrifice a lot for their partner. But most of the time what happens is, I'll tell you with your heart line, it happens that you choose a partner and that partner is openly maybe cheating on you. Uh, maybe they don't love you back but you are still uh, hoping against no, that that's not the case. But no, you should always go for what's best for you. It's not selfishness. It's like looking out for yourself. So maybe you should trust your guardians, your siblings, that what they're saying is right. Oh, like, oh, you're uh, right about this, you're right about that guy and that stuff. Maybe they know more about that person than you know. So always trust your instincts. Always trust the people close to you. And remember that the person you will eventually settle down with will be a stranger, uh, a stranger in the sense that you've never met them before and they suddenly come in your life, maybe when you uh, shift to another town. So overall your hand is very good. There are very many squares you see there. If the sun line is like this, there is a square here as well. And this is like, if we estimate this is 40. So it could be that maybe at 40s, uh, you, uh, you might face a loss of reputation. Like maybe someone says, your skills are not good enough and stuff and you like have some negative reaction like you have uh, start having inferiority comebacks but due to the square here this means that and it's surrounding the sunlight which sunlight gives fame so that means that the effects of that will be lessened and you will make it through so the sun lines are good the mercury line starts very early at 23 if you see the mercury line is good the sun line is very good starts at 40 so the time of being famous will most probably be 40 as you also have a star which is a very rare formation on the mount of apollo and you have many squares which give protection and there's a single line here there's a line here too maybe that means that at 60 or 65 you might be earning from two things again which is good because as i said more fed lines more income sources so that's good the only thing about your personality is that you're very reserved with your true emotions and uh, but you're also expressive like you could have like uh, mood swings a lot because the line isn't straight the heart line is going upward so suddenly you have these mood swings in life so that's also like it depends on your partner if they can uh, uh, handle you so over a very uh, good poem a very successful poem and a poem which is a, a bit confused now but once 
you like enter your 23rd year or your 25th because right now the coronavirus and everything is going on so maybe even if it uh, it's delayed by two years uh, your focus i mean so 23 or 25 remember most probably 25 you will be earning a lot from freelancing but only when you enter 36 your income will be permanent and from 36 till the end of your life there will be no financial worries or no relationship disappointments at all thank you so much for visiting no Hive future if you meet a person and you want to check your compatibility with them you can use our compatibility report and i'll give you an exclusive 50 percent off discount and again for five dollars you can use that to compare both poems if uh, you want an astro poem read, uh, astrological report alongside a numerological report then that will also cost you five dollars and it will be a written reading you can order it right after this reading if you like it and the third is chinese zodiac that is that will also cost you five dollars will be a written reading and we, uh, for both we only need your date of birth so uh, it's a it's uh, your choice if you like this you can order that like you can just message me on fiverr and i'll deliver that and remember to leave an honest review please as it help, uh, helps us get more awesome clients like you thank you so much for watching hope you have a very nice day and remember to question i mean send me any question and i will answer that thank you again thank you so much